normally when you're getting unemployment, you know, the whole idea is that that's temporary and, you know, you need to be looking for work to be able uh, to get off unemployment. I think it's pretty clear now we have an abundance of job openings. People could make more money staying home than going back to work and you get what you incent. Unemployment benefits should be a safety net, not a career choice. Red state governors are pushing back on federal incentives to not work with South Carolina, Montana and Florida all making moves to encourage employees to return to the job. Here now to react is a Florida congressman, Byron Donalds. Byron, thank you so much for being here this morning. Really appreciate it. So, Congressman, there seems to be uh, just a sanity overfloweth uh, in Florida, yourself included. I mean, this idea that, hey, maybe we should pull back some employment benefits, unemployment benefits, once people are the jobs are available for people to work. Uh, what do you think of this approach? Uh, we need to do that, and we should do it right now. Let me give you a little story. I was uh, trying to go to a McDonald's drive-through. It's 12:30 in the morning. The 24-hour McDonald's on the way to my house was closed. I was like, this is interesting. It's a 24-hour McDonald's. They're always open. I drive closer to my house. There's another 24-hour McDonald's. I pull up to the drive through speaker. It took five minutes for the only person in the store to get there. He told me he's the only one working, and he had to make breakfast for the morning, so it was going to take him 30 minutes to fill my order. This is what's happening across the country. Restaurants, retail shops who have really been struggling through the pandemic to try to get back on their feet. People are not going to work. They're simply not reporting. It's happening all across the country. At the federal level, in this last coronavirus bill, we should not have extended benefits to the degree that we did. We need to go back and revisit it because it's hurting small businesses who are trying to get back on their feet. Congressman, obviously states that, you know, stop this extension of unemployment benefits and the leaders in those states are going to face some heat, right? People are going to point fingers at them and say, oh, you don't care about people in need. What should their reaction to that be? The one thing that's going to help the people who are in need is getting back to work, getting back to the things that we were doing in our normal life. The, at the rate that we, people are being vaccinated, the country is actually in a very good place, and those rates continue to go up. Even though they're slowing, people are still getting vaccinated every single day. It is far safer in America today than it was four months ago, six months ago, eight months ago, and everybody knows it. We have to start to get back to work. We can't rely on the government to put money into everybody's pocket. It cannot continue. This will not work for our country. We're already starting to see inflation starting to tick up because there's so much money floating around without the necessary demands that are need, that need to be filled with it. And so we have a serious problem if we don't get it together right now. And I think the president needs to weigh in on this and he needs to actually do the right thing, which is work with Congress to begin to pull these, these dollars back. Yeah, Congressman, there's a bit, I want to switch gears with you. A lot of anti-cop rhetoric going out there from the left. There's this new uh, New York Post op-ed, uh, and it goes like this. Uh, this guy um, talks about, he says, quote, I'm a former law enforcement officer, but I won't encourage my kids to be cops. What's your reaction to that? Uh, very concerning, because, look, here's what's happening. Number one, if you're an officer, you're a target now. Let's be very clear. I know no, the media doesn't like talking about that. They want to talk about systemic racism and policing. But if you're an officer, you're a target right now. You're being watched constantly. And then you have some of the policies that are out there, the ideas, like getting rid of qualified immunity, which will put an officer fiscally on the line, not just them and their family, just in case anything happens in the line of duty, even if you're following the book, following all the protocols, and following all your training. Like, this is not good for what's happening in police in America. It's very scary, especially if you, if you live in a high-crime area like Chicago, like New York City, um, um, you know, like Los Angeles, California, where you need officers on the street. You have a lot of officers who are retiring early. They're pulling back, or they may not actually do the jobs uh, that they want to do in an efficient manner because they're afraid, too. They don't want to get caught up in a situation when they're doing the right thing. But depending on what people are taking with video, they either, they either get targeted or they're caught up in a fiscal mess. It's, it's a real problem that we have. Yeah, I mean, not only are they targets, Congressman, but there's a political incentive these days on the left to go after them uh, as well. It's, it's, it's an unholy mix that creates an op-ed like that that I'm sure that law enforcement officer never thought he would write, that he would never encourage his son to follow in his footsteps. By the way, Police Week, uh, Police Appreciation Week starts tomorrow, so yep. we'll be covering more of this. Congressman Byron Donalds, thank you so much. Thank you. From Florida. Thanks for being. Thanks for having me, guys. So